Hi, this is Kat, Walk It Out 1963. Today's tutorial is how to make this pen. It's made of polymer clay and it's a paper mate pen. And this is how it looks before you put this part in. I will show you how to put this part in at the end of the video. But before we start, first, if you want to make a jelly roll, this is made out of lime green, translucent, and mostly glow in the dark clay and it does glow. I don't know if you can see that. Oh well, my camera person says no. But it does glow in the dark really, really good. And to get started, we need a pin. A regular pin, and take off the lid to make this cap cover. First thing we wanna do is take it and snip that off. Once you get that snipped off, if you feel any, any sharp edges, raise it up a little. Take your little bit of the sandpaper and sand it off like that. Just sand it off, make it a little bit smooth. And to make sure your clay sticks, take your pen. First, we have to remove this ink thing. Get your pliers firmly grip. Don't squeeze because you don't want to rupture anything and just pull it out. It might take a little bit of a twist to get it out, but it will come out. Okay, get your sandpaper and just lightly scrape that surface up a little bit. Just scrape it, add a couple embrasures on there. That way that clay will get in there. Wipe it off, make sure there's no dust to it. Okay, and you put this on there and you look at it and mark where your imaginary line is going to be for your lid at. And I already got one piece cut specially straight. And what you do is you wrap it. Okay, that's where it's going to be. And then you just take your canes and this is really actually really quick. It doesn't matter the thickness of clay that you use because what's happening is you're going to put it on there. It doesn't matter what order you put it on there and you don't have to cover the whole entire pen because once you start rolling it and smoothing it out your clay will cover all the holes and the gashes and it will look a lot better that way. That way it has more of a geometrical look or to it. It look better. You just place it. This is this is so easy. The hardest part would probably be making the cane. That would be your hard part of the clay and you just keep adding I only work on marble or I work on some kind of a towel I do not work on paper because if you work on paper what it has a tendency of doing is it will actually pull the oils out of your polymer clay and don't forget to put a little bit of clay right there the reason my table seems to be moving is I have a cat that is 25 pounds and she is moving the table okay you just take your clay, your pin and roll it roll it in between your hands you see where it's starting to come together it's starting all to come together now there she goes. Roll it. And, okay. Don't forget, you got that piece right down there. You want to keep down there. Going flat. So you just want to keep on checking on that. And if you see a spot that isn't going to get covered by doing this, you don't need to press super hard. You don't need to be Superman and squeeze it to death or anything else or kill it. Because... It will all go together sooner. Lay it down and slowly roll it. 
you're not rolling out a pie or anything so you don't need to press really hard you just need to press good enough to make it kind of like even and unbumpy especially up here at the top and if you see a piece that isn't quite together just take it and smash it down in there and it will go and you look at it and as you look at it you'll see places that you might have to roll a little bit more take it and you roll it you see that is how easy that is take the blade I have seen many people that have used the blade and I am really surprised that some people actually have their fingers left because I just like cringe when I, especially the young kids, I saw one person holding a blade and cutting like this into her hand. Uh, bad idea. Don't do that. You can hurt yourself and end up in the hospital. Okay, you got your pin part done. Okay, and the lid, you basically take your lid, put your clay around it, like this. That's a big piece, so I'll just take it and kind of like wrap it around there. And you just do this throughout the whole top of this clay, this pin. And then, you just take it, once again, roll it in your hand. You roll it, and you just keep on rolling it, and it'll look like that. Roll it out, get a little bit smoother. And then, this is ready to go in the oven. You bake it at 225 for about 25 minutes. This is ready to go in the oven and I use a glass pan, glass correct pan and everything and what I do next I'll show you how to put it together. Okay what I use to put it together is I get a mouse pad that way I have something soft. I put the pin together like this. I put it down there and if you listen carefully you'll hear a pop. That was the pop. It's a little pop and then you have your pin. Now if you're going to glaze it and you use the glaze I use I, I'm not going to go ahead and glaze it because that will be too long, but this is what I use for a glaze. Whenever I glaze anything and all my, have me one of those resin pieces. All my pieces come out with a beautiful shine like that, and that's only one coat of glaze. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe comment and like and have a happy day. Bye.